Oh, YouTube. So this is uh, Necroz. Um, so again, uh, well, um, sorry, not again, um, but essentially, I'm not going to. Um, I'm not really going to say what I mean. But you know, I'm not going to go through charge like I normally would a while ago. I'm just going to leave the deck list in the description below. And you guys can find it. Below. But um, this is Necros. This is pure Necros. Uh, and I found this deck to be very interesting to build. Uh, the theory was very interesting. But let's get into it. So the idea is you play just a lot of searchers. The deck is just built with searchers. Um, having said that, um, I'm not going to include these three cards as searchers specifically because they require other cards to, you know, work essentially. They are realistically, you know, that's what they are, but uh, for the sake of, you know, not having to, not having to cut like brick, you know, these are bricks if you will, or these are not really great, if you open it out of hand. So, you, you can at least do something with these. So, uh, anyways, um, these are, these aren't really, like, I don't really know, so, okay, so I know that Patrick Copen uh, came up with the theory of, like, starters and extenders and all that. Um, I, for some decks, I don't know that there is specifically, like, starters at so much as, like, searchers, you know? Like, for, for the Pendulum deck, maybe, like, Skull Pro Bat Joker would be a starter, but even then it's just kind of... But, like, it, even though it just searches one monster, it feels like it extends your plays significantly more than just, you know, a little bit. So, anyways, um, these are your starters. Do, do, you, do you play six normal summons? Um, I want to cut this down because I think Diviner is definitely the better card. However, um, I don't think that there's a better searcher right now to search your um, Necroz names. Uh, you have the Drytrons, but they just they, they just suck in the stack and they, they don't work at all. Um, so yeah, that's it for the searchers. Bryanak is probably the best ritual monster to open up with because uh, well, this, this card, uh, it's really good for searching your spells, but at the same time, if you open, um, Bryanak can search the last of this, I guess, and not the other way around, whereas, um, so yeah, uh, uh, yeah, this is, this is probably the biggest part of your engine, I guess. Um, what else is there? I guess, you know what, let's go into the next engine. Uh, you have, of course, the, uh, I don't know what these are called. Your mini, mini Nakroz people. Uh, and you have the card that tributes them all. Uh, air, air, uh, air something. Uh, so this card says you can discard this card, tribute up to two Nakroz monsters from your hand and or field. If you do, send that many Necroz cards from your deck to the graveyard. Um, the next part doesn't really matter, it's a monster negate, but you're not really, you're never really going to summon this to your field. You just want it to be able to uh, trigger your Necroz cards because you can, so a quick combo, if you open uh, this and this, what you, what you can do is you can uh, discard this, Tribute this, send a uh, unicorn, uh, or no, no, not unicorn, send um, Gungnir, I guess, and then, I guess that's how you pronounce it, uh, and then you can activate Sorcerer to search your unicorn. Unicorn discards itself to add back uh, Gungnir. So, yeah, uh, that's, that's gonna help. Just a quick combo. Uh, the other is, of course, this one searches uh, uh, Shirit or uh, the Sorcerer. Um, and then Shirit, when it's discarded, searches a Warrior. Uh, and the Sorcerer, sorcerer searches a Spellcaster. 
Uh, Shirt is also a very interesting card because it can be treated as the full, uh, all of the materials for the summon. So like if you summon a level 4 monster, instead of it, it, instead of it being a level 3, it's essentially a level 4. Um, but it doesn't count for like cards like um, Trishula, where you have to use more than one monster. So yeah, so that's kind of the next dungeon. Um, next dungeon I'm going to talk about is kind of just the uh, good cards of, of the deck, but not you know not as good cards. And that, those are uh, Trishula, Gunmere, uh, Mirror, and Cycle. Cycle is probably the best you know out of these cards because um, and the, well these two are probably the best cards, right? So Trish Trish doesn't actually come up, up that often for me. Um, I imagine if I was a better Necros player, I probably would. You know. But I don't, I don't spend not that much crazy time with my deck, so you know, um, I don't have the time to really look at all of them. You know, if it, but anyways, uh, Gungnir is really good because uh, another quick combo. Um, you can, as long as you have. To Unicor and Kaleidoscope, where you can do is you can Kaleidoscope, send Herald, uh, make a uh, summon Unicor, Herald, search Gungnir, or actually Trish, depending on the matchup. I like Gungnir more because uh, you can't be destroyed by a battle with effects, so like your opponent just can't, can't just attack over Unicor, uh, compared to Trish, where you, uh, you target it, I think. Yeah. Or, uh, once per turn, it can't be targeted, you know? So I think Gungnir is better. You you search Gungnir, and it essentially just gives your Unicorn connection, which is really cool. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then Cycle that summons your Necro's monsters back from the graveyard, essentially. Um, Trishula, Banished, it, it, it does the previous effect of, like, um, your opponent you can once per turn negate, like, a targeted effect. But it also banishes a card from your opponent's hand, field, and graveyard, and it has to go through. If, if you can't banish a card from your like your opponent's hand, then you can't activate it. Uh, yeah. And unless I believe you can banish Necro's monsters from the graveyard, as well as tribute monsters from your hand or field to summon a Necro's monster from your hand. So uh, all three spells are really good. I think the Lidoscope is the most powerful, especially turn one. Because you can send Harold and you know get your plays going that way. Um, additionally, I'm going to talk about attack here. Um, this card, the Sorrow Cat, uh, it's pretty interesting in this deck because you can ritual summon um, Kaleida, Kaleida sus something uh, by sending Sorrow Sorrow Cat, and then if, as long as you have like Harold in the graveyard. You can send Harold back to the extra deck to special summon this card from your graveyard. And that, I mean, you're, you're pretty much always going to have like Unicorn in your hand because this is like the main card of the deck. So you can make uh, Cybers Quantum Dragon. Or or if, you, or if you're summoning, summoning a monster, you know, more consistently, uh, you could go for you know, different play. I guess, I guess because you have players, so you could go for like Dante or something. But um, I think Quantum Dragon. Option. So, uh, yeah. Uh, as for the last, you know, cards, ne uh, Necros of Unicorn and Lightoscope, these are like the best cards in the deck. Uh, it's essentially just a lockout for opponent's extra deck. If your opponent can't uh, use access, or they they can't um, activate their effects in the extra deck. So that's what that's about. Uh, this is the deck. It's really fun. Hope you guys enjoy. If there's, you know, one more thing, um, if there's anything engine I would cut, it would probably be this, this guy, because I think it's fine, but I don't think it's good enough compared to, like, the rest of the So you could play, like, hand traps or something, and that's something you could potentially do. Instead of playing, uh, 12 of this in Logi, you could just play hand traps, which, you know, it might be better. Anyways, that is the deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Peace.